Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Painter. In this video, we're going to be opening this month's model box. We're in February. This must be February's model box. Can't remember the theme. Standard, standard Watch It Painter. No idea what's going on. For you guys out there who still don't know what model box are, are, is, uh, unfamiliar with it, it is very similar to Loot Crate. It's a monthly subscription service. You sign up and every month at this surprise box with mystery items. It's theme based, so you got a rough idea what it is you know the theme before you buy it as well so you can opt in and out if if there's certain themes that really don't appeal to you and some that do every month i say it's similar to loot crate but is it is it similar i i participated in loot crate for six months and of those six months i think two of those items in all of those boxes i either use or have on a shelf or something and i just feel like that's not good justice to model box i know a lot of people enjoy loot crate out there but i didn't and just because you don't enjoy Loot Crate like myself doesn't mean you won't enjoy Modelbox. I've had Modelbox for over a year now and every single time I open it, I would say I use at least 33% of the items instantly. And over time, it goes from 66 probably to 100% usage. Take, for example, this little barred fox. I've not painted a fox in ages because they've stopped doing that as an exclusive and it upset me. But I just saw that Daniel H on the Model Box Facebook group was painting his from some time ago. I think he picked them up because you can get the exclusives on Model Box's website now if you're just interested in some rocks miniatures. And I was just jealous because his look was looking awesome. So I wanted to get involved. I wanted to paint mine. And it just shows like that's been a sleeper for months. And I don't I didn't think I was ever going to paint this because I don't play DD and I don't care for bards. But his looked too good and I wanted I didn't I want to be part of the cool club. So I should mention that Model Box does have a very active, I say very the right amount of active Facebook group. If you post something, people will see it and people will comment and you'll get feedback. And it's a, it's a really nice community. Obviously, I'm part of a lot of communities now on Facebook and Modelbox is actually one of the nicest. I think it's it's not too full at the moment. So people see and talk about it. Like I make posts elsewhere and they can disappear within three minutes and you know if they ain't got a comment by then, it's gone forever. Anyway, guys, let's get through to the unboxing. I'm just giving you some background information to why it's a cool subscription now let's have a look what we've got inside now i'm not looking at the moment because i'm going to remove the sheet because i am going to have a guess what the theme is because I, I like that it's a little little side quest for myself given that i can never ever 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 remember the theme and my memory my short-term memory is not good let alone a, a month's and long-term memory oh this is rattly today they've changed the packaging i feel like this is much nicer packaging now but it's worse for youtubers who've got to unwrap this so one sec hopefully i've removed most of the noise now so where to begin we'll leave the exclusive because i can't see what that is to last because that's normally the sweetest thing in the pack so we've got hassle-free miniatures another thing with these miniature box subscriptions especially model box they introduced me to miniature brands i have never heard of never heard of hassle-free miniatures have we ever seen any of that before? What have we got? We've got Iona Starkiller Sci-Fi Humans. This is going to be a sci-fi box, isn't it? You can tell straight away that's too much of a giveaway. Maybe it's more specific than that. We'll, I'll, I'll see if I can work it out as we go through. Let's take a look at this miniature. As I say every time, I'm not super keen on metal. I think some people prefer it and some people don't. And for me, it's one of those things I don't prefer. This is cool, though. This is a sci-fi melee character, though, isn't it? She's got a big sticky sword and a little... A little sword as well so she's quite cool is she no she's a bit like an elf though look at those ears she's like an elf did it say she's just a star killer are you in a star killer it doesn't she's a sci-fi human but she's got very pointy ears i would say she's very interesting that's quite cool though i've not got any or very rarely even see melee sci-fi characters i don't think i've got any so Again, like I mentioned, that's going to be a sleeper. I've got no use for that right at the moment, but no doubt at some point I'm going to be wanting to show how to paint the blades or something. Maybe I'll do some NMM non-metallic metallics or true metallic metallics. We'll, we'll do something. Maybe those blades will come in useful. Ooh, another, another paintbrush. I think last month they gave you a paintbrush. I can't remember what size it was. I don't recall it saying model box one though so maybe this is a different size it's unless it says otherwise and i can't see it and it, we'll look in the pamphlet afterwards this is normally a rosemary and co brush which is a fantastic brush to be honest and model box have just obviously joined sides with them and get them to brand up their paint brushes so hopefully that's a rosemary and co but you've got a very very nice brush as part of this kit let's look at the paints they're always easy to go with instar we've seen them a few times they make an, this nice size dropper bottle 10 mil which is plenty of paint like i'll never run out of this and it just takes up that little bit less space for a full collection of them they also have that child 
safety lid. And as, as my daughter, four years old, Sophie's painting more and more, this kind of thing's useful. I don't want her opening the paints by herself yet. So I can actually let her handle these and know that she's, she, she ain't getting in these. She's been playing with hers for, for years and she's never cracked the lid yet. So that's, that's useful. Cement gray, that looks like a beautiful gray, by the way. Don't own that. I own a lot of army painters gray, so it'd be nice to see how that compares, but it's a nice color gray, mid range gray, and then blush pink. That's cool, isn't it? I haven't got a pink like that, so that's going to go in a useful draw straight away. And this is what I was saying about you open the box and 33% of the time you're going to be using most of it. Brush straight away. Grey, maybe, maybe not. Pink straight away. So we've got two things instantly I'm going to be using. We've got something as a sleeper and some paint that may, you know, it's to be decided. But I know lots of new painters, so I can, I can easily pass things on. You always get some sweets or some candies in these things. It's, I'm, not, I'm not a big sweetie fan, especially duo stick frutellas but a lot of people out there have got a sweet tooth and I've, my wife sophie benson they will happily take that off me so it's not a waste so again add that to the instantly used pile although it's worth what like 5p now what is this this is a huge set of something this is cool this is this is very cool i don't know what it is but you get to build it which is nice, but it looks like like easy build, like push fit that in there. That looks like it push fits in. It is, it's like a push fit. These are almost like Space Marines, but not as good, question mark. Who knows, maybe, I can't tell. They just, they're certainly easy to build. So this is a handful, there's two identical ones there. Is that three? Three identical ones, four identical ones. And like a, a leader, it is very much like a base marine battalion, isn't it? And that's the that's the um, sergeant. He gets this power so This is way too close to uh, GW Space Marines, right? Like this looks identical, except really chunky characters. He looks a bit like Duke Nukem, doesn't he? That's interesting. And then you've got some additional guns, so maybe they're interchangeable. I didn't see how. Th yeah, that looks interchangeable, doesn't it? Yeah, I think they can just click in so you can get different guns. It's a nice, cool little set. I definitely will be painting those in the near future because I want to see how they look. So again, got some stuff to use instantly, got some sleeper stuff, which I mean, I'm excited about painting. I just don't have an exact use right this second. Then the last thing, the last but not least, is the model box exclusive to get Matilde designs an exclusive miniature and it gets, she, she gets sculpted up and then made for model box and this is theirs they've moved away from rocks the model box fox much to my dislike but maybe it'll make some appearances in the future you'll never know and this one it is something i can't quite see but that looks amazing i can see he's got a mohawk and like a, an axe so what more do you want you get a base with it which is always handy <gasps> so it's like it's like a sci-fi dwarf except he's not a dwarf he's just got a cool like metallic beard He's like heavy metal rocker. He's got a mohawk. He's got a massive axe. Again, it's a melee sci-fi character. Super, super unusual for me. I don't see many of these. So guys, that looks absolutely sweet. Like so, somebody tell me I'm, I'm wrong. Is that not one of the coolest sci-fi miniatures you've ever seen? Because it's certainly up there with mine. So again, not got use for this instantly, but that's just one of those things I've got to paint, right? I've got to get that done up. Except maybe, oh, how would you do his hair? Rainbow mohawk that's just i think that's just really really cool i'm really really impressed with that the 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 one last month the, although they've moved away from rocks and i'm going to moan until i get a rocks again i am impressed with these new miniatures they are incredibly nice looking so guys what a fantastic box i'm not even that big on sci-fi as you know i'm i'm, I'm way more into my fantasy but it, it's melee fantasy so what have we got we've got brumrick orison he's a master engineer Blah, blah, blah. He's got backstory. See, he's like an asteroid mining dwarf. He's a dwarf, but he's huge, right? That's massive. That looks bigger than any dwarf. I said, but I did say it was a dwarf straight away. All right. And it was, it was sci fantasy. It wasn't sci fi. I didn't quite get that. Is that the same thing? Isn't sci fi and sci fantasy? I know it's science fiction, isn't it? So science fantasy is slightly different. Might explain a lot of the melee weapons and that. That human looked a lot like an elf, didn't she? And he, again, I should I said dwarf. So then you get some space rangers, not space marines. These are space rangers, guys. Who are they made by? EM4 miniatures. So they don't look very science fa fantasy, right? They've got 
They've got big laser guns, but, you know. Next month is a future war, guys, if you want to check that out. There will be a discount, description discount below, guys, if you would like to save, I think, 10% off your order or something. You've got Ion... I own a Star Killer hassle free miniatures. Space Elf. I was right. I knew she was an elf, but it said human on the box. Ooh. Uh, and then In Star Paints, as I mentioned, they're decent, decent. But I, I like the bottles and the colors, not bad either. Uh, some of the alpha paints, I can't remember exactly what that range is. And yeah, it's a model box, a size one, a Rosemary and Co. brush. So you get a fantastic brush in this month's box as well. Guys, that was cool. I'm not a big fan of science fiction which is which is interesting because i say that every time and then this was science fantasy and i am a fan of fantasy so i think the theme nailed it and it made me excited and i hadn't realized why and it was because it was moving into the realms that i would prefer dwarves with axes elves with spears except it's a space elf for some reason i mean that could literally be in a fantasy game right like what what makes that space worthy this guy not so much because he's got like a bionic eye going on here, but she could go in fantasy or sci fantasy. And then you've got some space marines. I don't know what that's all about. Guys, that's it. That was a nice box. I, I'm impressed with this box. I enjoyed this box. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and any reason you dislike subscriptions or love subscriptions. Let me know either, either way. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.